The passive form. Ukemike. In Japanese. Using dareru. The passive form de emphasizes the actor and emphasizes the person or object receiving the action. It is often used to obscure the actor or to indicate a negative nuance. In this video, we'll learn how to conjugate the form in Japanese. In the next video, we'll take what we've learned here and run through a few practice questions. If you're a Makoto Plus member, please see the description to download a full Anki flashcard deck with many example sentences to practice. In Japanese, the passive form is called Ukemike. Normally, the topic or subject of the sentence is the person or thing that does the action. My mother scolded me. But if you make the receiver the topic or subject, you would use the passive form. I was scolded by my mother. In the first sentence, mother is emphasized. But in the passive second sentence, mother isn't as important. In fact, in the English or Japanese, we could drop mother. I was scolded. In English, we use was or the suitable tense of to be when constructing the passive. In Japanese, you change the ending of the verb. In Japanese, to make the passive form, all verbs except the two irregular verbs have either the suffix dareru or deru. We'll get to this in a minute. Let's see how the previous example would be in Japanese. The verb to scold is shikaru. The passive form of shikaru is shikarareru. We'll look at the conjugation more closely in a moment. My mother scolded me. Notice in the above non passive sentence, the topic is the mother, the one doing the scolding, and the receiver of the scolding is marked with a wo. Now let's use the passive form. Remove the do and add dareru. I was scolded by my mother. In the passive sentence, the topic is the one receiving the scolding, and the one doing the scolding is marked with ni. Here's the format of a typical passive sentence receiving the action wa, and then doing the action ni, and then verb with da de du. Passive verb conjugation. If you study Japanese verbs, you know that there are three types. Now, different grammar books have different names, but the most common are Godan group one, the u verbs, Ichidan group two, the du verbs, and the two irregular verbs. For the Godan group one verbs, change the final u sound to an a sound and then add de du. For example, kaku. To write becomes kakareru. The ku has an u sound and it is in the kakiku keiko column. We change that to an a sound and this becomes ka. Let's look at it at another way using ro maji. The plain or dictionary form for to write is kaku. Remove the u and it becomes kak. Add an a and deru and it becomes If you're breaking a sweat, don't worry, Ichidan group two verbs are much easier. Simply remove the final du and add da de du. For example, to eat is taberu. Remove the du and add da de du. Taberareru. For the irregular verbs, you just have to memorize these, but there are only two. Suru. To do becomes sareru. Kuru. To come becomes korareru. Let's spend a moment with the Godan group one verbs since these are the most challenging. Remember, you have to change the final u sound to an a sound. In the case of kaku to write, the final ku sound becomes ka. Kakareru. How about shinu to die? Can you figure it out? The final new sound becomes 
な。しなれる。It's pretty easy once you get used to it, but there is one tricky part. If it ends in a vowel, a, e, u, a, o, it changes to wa. So, for example, あう To meet is not あれる but あわれる言う To say is not いあれる but 言われる Other than that, just remember to change the final vowel sound to an a and you're all set. So, just to review the conjugations, for Godan group 1 verbs, change the final u to an a or if it ends in a vowel, change it to wa. Then add de do. Ichidan group 2 verbs. Remove the final do and add da de do. For the irregular verbs, suru becomes sareru and kuru becomes korareru. Other da de do usages. While out of the scope of this video, one more tricky part is that the da de do can also indicate the potential able to do form. For example, taberareru can be the passive was eaten or the potential can eat. Because of this confusion, dropping the da when meaning the potential form is common. Many people say taberareru for able to eat, for example. There's also overlap with polite keigo language, but the context usually makes it clear what you mean. In the next video, we'll practice a few word conjugations and then sentences. See the link in the description for that. Also, if you're not yet a Makoto Plus member, please consider becoming one. You'll instantly get access to this and dozens of more bonus content downloads, podcast extras, the current Makoto issue, several online courses, and the weekly lessons. Give Makoto Plus a try today with a seven day free trial. There are no hidden fees and you can cancel at any time. Thanks for watching. Please let us know in the comments if you have any questions.